Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from the 5th of August to the 11th of August 2018. And this is for you coming from Gemini. It's going to start beautifully this Sunday, the 5th of August. It's going to end beautifully. Romance is in the air. Business talk is in the air. Helpful in job is in the air. What more do you want? So try not to be argumentative. Try not to be impatient. Try not to be hasty. That's all. And if you can do that, you'll find that it's a wonderful morning, afternoon period. Getting all the right things you will say. The rewards will come. Evening nightfall just as good and evening nightfall are romantic planets as well. So romance is in the air and I see a global planet here as well. And this global planet will always tell me to advise you to go onto the internet for whatever you want. Is it the friendship? Is it the romance? Is it the help of a job from another country? Is it doing business with somebody? You'll get something good news in the evening nightfall or throughout the whole day. Because this global planet is moving around a lot and is good for you. Well, I like your evening nightfall period very much. You're going to meet somebody very important or be very happy with somebody. The 6th of August, which is a Monday, 6th of August, which is a Monday, it starts beautifully for you morning, afternoon. Very good news at your place of work or in business, making the right contacts, saying the right things, doing the right things. You'll come to the notice of important people. And that, of course, will give you rewards. Evening nightfall, I don't like at all a very nasty planet or two of them are waiting there. One will produce some kind of accident or another. It can be physical accident, mental accident, verbal accident. It will be an accident which comes suddenly and unexpectedly at you and you the victim because it is you who will suffer from this. So try not to antagonize anybody. Try not to say anything provocative or do anything that produces a confrontation. Try to be the nice person that you really are and let the planets of the morning, afternoon to come help you there. So when you become nice, you attract your good planets. When you become nasty, you attract your nasty planets. That's how it is. So you can control it by being a nice person. Don't drink too much. You drive carefully. Accidents, as I said, are seen. If you don't like the company, move away. Go back home. Stay there and you'll be happier. The 7th of August, Tuesday, it starts miserably for you, whether at work, whether in business, whether at home, whether anywhere else. And so many things can go wrong. An accident can take place. You can be let down or played out. Many things can be said about you behind your back. Disappointments are waiting one way or another. Well, it's a working day. It's a Tuesday. Don't allow anybody else to do your responsibilities because they're going to mess it up and you'll the one, be the one who'll get the finger of blame. Try to do everything yourself. Don't share your personal secrets with anybody, whether at work, whether in business, whether anywhere. It'll be used against you. So it's a nasty planet that way. And of course, he makes you say nasty things as well. And you don't want to do that. Don't pry into other people's secrets. Leave it alone. Hour by hour, tackle your work, your responsibilities. Put all your energy there. The hours will pass. I like your evening nightfall very much. Long-term planets are there. And these long-term planets will produce long-term contacts. Long-term planets are a bit slow. And you in Gemini like everything fast and instant. Be patient. Hour by hour, it starts around 5 to 6 p.m. And hour by hour, you will see things develop for your favor. And you will find many solutions you couldn't find in the earlier part of the day as well. So there's every chance of your evening nightfall, you getting what you want and you making you very happy. Go out and meet people. Somebody important is there waiting for you. I like your 8th August Wednesday morning afternoon very much. And you'll be very lucky. And again, whatever you do develops a bit slowly. So tell yourself to be patient. Things are working out for you in the morning afternoon period. Help is coming along the line. And long-term good possibilities are also there, giving you recognition. At place, your bosses are watching you and they are appreciative for what you do. In business, you will win some long-term contacts or people you know from the past may come to give you long-term contacts in business. So communicate and communicate with people you know in the past. Ask them for favors. Something good's happening for you. Evening nightfall. Two very aggressive planets are there. One makes you say things very aggressively. One makes you do things very aggressively, showing your temper. So you don't want to do either of them. Because when you do that, 
there could, could be a retaliation from somebody or somebody could just walk away and you will lose that somebody who may be very valuable to you. So take the soft approach throughout the whole day because this planet of aggression, one of them tries to come in the morning, afternoon as well, now and then making you show temper. Throughout the whole day, I must take the soft approach, which means use words which are soft, a tone of voice which is soft, a body language which is soft. You will soften all these planets. They'll be confused. They'll let you alone and you'll be the nice person you really are. Let's go to the 9th of August. It's going to be a very trying day. You may start by being over-determined, wanting what you want at any cost. You don't care the circumstances and that's not good. You're going to step on toes. You're going to ruffle feathers with what you say and what you do just to get what you want. You may be in charge of a team and you'll want to show results and you'll be a bully and you'll be a pushy person. Don't want to do that either. Take the soft approach with these aggressive planets. You'll get miles ahead of them. They will eventually give you what you want in a nice soft way. It's workable. 9th of August, evening nightfall period. Not good. There are planets there that either can put blame on you or either it will be you putting blame on others and either way the situation is not good in the evening nightfall period. So what do you do? Well, you'll have to be a person who is very polite and very nice and extremely flexible. If you can afford to do that, stay on in the group of people. But if you find that these people make you just worse and worse as hours go by, just walk out from there, go back home and be happy in the safety of your own home. These are ego planets in the evening nightfall as well. So they make you egoistic. They make you want to feel important. They make you want to feel noticed. And if you are not, then you are not happy. So control yourself. Enjoy yourself. And you will see that as long as you don't make demands, you will be happy enough. 10th of August, Friday. Not good. Not good because you are going to be disappointed with the news that comes to you, whether in place of work, whether in business. In fact, even before you leave home, you might feel insulted about what has been said to you or what has been done to you. Even when you drive, don't try to be too perfectionist that somebody may just overtake you a little bit and you want to show your temper. So the ego problems are immense in the morning-afternoon period. Don't try that at place of work or in business. Be humble. Be flexible, be negotiable, you'll tame these egoistic planets and they will turn around and they will help you to get the rewards waiting for you. Evening nightfall period, well in astrology we say there's too much water in the horoscope, makes you uncertain what you want to say, what you want to do. Plans are changing, so again you are the victim of changing of plans and it upsets you. Emotional planets are very strong. And they are not favorable to you. So emotionally you will get somehow insulted or not feel happy. It's not the worst of group of planets really. It just makes you extremely wanting to feel important. And when you're not given that, then you feel very unhappy. So why don't you have a good word with yourself before you go out in the evening nightfall and tell yourself, I don't want to feel important, I just want to be happy. And you'll be able to manage that very nicely because then you'll become much more cooperative. 11th of August, Saturday. Now, it's a holiday. If it's not a holiday, be careful. You'll be very distracted at work. You'll be thinking of the lunch you want to have. You'll be thinking of the romance you hope to meet. You'll be thinking about the evening plans. And then, of course, at your place of work, if you work on a Saturday, which is the 11th of August, then things can go wrong, deadlines can go missing, you can be blamed for not getting things ready. So if you're working, tell yourself three words, logic, facts and figures, which means it pulls you down to earth and say, get your stuff done. If you're on holiday, and if you're not working on Saturday, it's perfect. You'll be very happy morning, afternoon period, but a bit touchy as well. Something said, something done, and you'll overreact, over become moodiness, and then you will become changeable, and then you'll become not cooperative. So it goes that way. So from the word go, tell yourself, I just want to make friends and be friendly with the people I'm with and be happy with them. And that way you will always remain that way. Evening, nightfall, you can be very stubborn or you can be very dominating or you can be very pushy, whether in words, whether in actions. 
So don't want to show that. You're supposed to enjoy yourself on this evening, nightfall period. And don't worry about the competition. If you're interested in somebody, you may feel a bit provoked about somebody else showing a lot of interest in the somebody who you want to show interest as well. Don't worry about it. Take your time. These are not planets who want to make you the loser. They just want to make you feel more important. And that's also not good because they are not the best of planets, you see. And so with these planets, I tell people, be flexible, be negotiable, be supportive, be appreciative, and you'll do extremely well in the evening nightfall period. Well, that's the week for you. I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50.50 for a 90-minute Skype session. And during these 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about your next seven or eight years, age by age, calendar year by calendar year. I'll give you a lot of information in all areas of your life. I'll give you your lucky lottery numbers based on your date of birth, time of birth, your palms. And I'll give you all the information about your lucky colors and your lucky gemstones and your lucky directions, on and on and on. We'll have a full 90 minutes together. Well, go to Skype, go to Facebook, go to send me an email and I'll make the contact with you and I'll reply you as soon as possible and let's get it on all for your next seven or eight years and all for USD 50 only. Until then, thank you and good luck.